Good morning guys, we're currently on our Slovenian road trip. Um, we actually had a bit of bad news last night that we have to cut our journey a bit short due to Covid. Um, we didn't have a lot of notice, we were just coming back from Vintga Gorge yesterday around like half six, seven-ish would you say? Around that time About wasn't half it? Seven, it? Oh, half seven. And um, we got the phone call from Steve's dad letting us know that um, Slovenia has been added to like the quarantine list so we last day was actually our, yesterday was actually our last full day. Um, so we managed to find a flight tonight um, which will get us back in time so that's quite good. Um, obviously a bit disappointed but um, we took this risk when booking the holiday and like the rules are there to keep us all safe so can't be that upset about it really but it just means we've had to like change a couple of things because um, we've got a couple hours today to get some things done that we wanted to do before we leave. Um, so we're going to head up to Socha Valley today, which we hadn't planned for today, but it's something we both really wanted to do. Um, so we're going to go to Socha Valley. There was a lot of activities. Don't be noisy, please. <laughs> there was a lot of activities we wanted to do there. We don't know if we're going to have time to do any of them, but we think it'll still be like really nice just to have a look around there. There's like a the Grand Canyon of Socha Valley and stuff like that there. So that would still be really awesome if we just got to see that. Um, it does mean there's a bit more driving safer speed than we had planned. Um, so it's an hour and a half from Lake Bled to Socha Valley and then a two hour drive from there back to the airport. Um, so a bit more than we'd planned, but um, what can you do? So yeah, so that's our plan for today now. A bit off track than what we had planned initially, but hopefully still be an, a nice day. Yeah. Yeah. So. Go. Yeah. so we've just arrived at Socha Valley and the Socha River is actually known as the Emerald River and because of its distinct colour it's actually considered one of the most beautiful rivers in Europe. This part of our holiday was actually supposed to be a bit more like active and like the adrenaline filled side of the holiday because um, there's so many activities you can do here. It's like um, kayaking, whitewater rafting, canyoning, um, lots of beautiful hikes to go on. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have much time to do any of the activities today um, but we've just stopped off now because you can see the river and it just looks so beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, stay still then. See! and murky where this is like so bright and clear it's unreal and you can see right down to the bottom even like where it's really deep you can see all the stones at the bottom it's beautiful but even there it's quite deep by there how deep would you say it is for there in the middle well, I'll probably like a meter and a half a meter and a half and you can still see like all the rocks there is a path to take you like up to where we're headed to, to the Grand Canyon but like this looks more of a fun route, so we're just going to like climb over the rock. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Unreal. Cannot believe how bright and vibrant this water is. It looks like something out of film. It looks like it'd be like a really nice sugary drink, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're currently at the Grand Canyon of Socha and being here you can really understand why it's got the name the Emerald River. It's so bright and clear, it's really hard to believe things like this are natural because it's just so bright, it doesn't look like it should be, it looks like it should be man-made. You see lo there's loads of fish in there as well, yeah. you can just see like... And even when it's quite deep you can see like right down to the bottom and you can see all of the rocks at the bottom. To be fair, yeah, I think that's why you can see the fish. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's like fish in every room, but you normally can't see them because yeah. they're so bright. I really want to jump in. I feel like no one's going to, when they see this footage, they're not going to believe it's not edited because it's just so bright. Yeah. It's something to do with the um, small particles of the rock being in the water, so it's like a rock powder and it reflects the light well, so that's why it's so bright. So we 
we're still in the Sosha Valley and we're now doing like a 15 minute walk um, to the Gokka waterfall. The Gokka? Uh, I think so. So, I think that'd be nice too. I'm basically bloody David Attenborough. So here's the waterfall. <laughs> up to like this point here and um how would you describe that like <laughs> terrifying <laughs> like at some point it was like very steep like pretty much like on our hands and knees like crawling up it we think we probably actually needed like a harness on <laughs> like it was pretty scary wasn't it yeah. and the floor was like quite slippery as well like had loads of little rocks and you just like, like really loose yeah probably didn't have like the best footwear for it um but we've just got up to this point now and we're like so high up and then you can actually see our... Oh, look at the mountains in the background. Yeah, so nice. Wow. So, like, our car is parked somewhere by there. So that's how high up we are. Look how, how blue the water looks even from up there. I know. It doesn't come up on camera. So we've left Socha Valley now, and that was literally so amazing. Um, and we're heading to the airport now. So, unfortunately, that's the end of our trip to Slovenia. But we literally, we both saying how we had like the best time ever, like this is our favourite holiday. Um, we really enjoyed it. Um, we just think it's like, it's hard to believe that it's like not one of the more like visited and popular places to visit in Europe. Because um, it's just like so scenic and there's just so much to do here. I feel like everywhere we went, like exceeded our expectations and like, I feel like every place we went we could have spent so much longer each place we would have still so much to do there. Um, so it was just so much to do and it was so beautiful. Like, if, so, if someone asked me what my favourite thing was on this trip, I, I generally don't think I could choose, but what would you say? I don't know, I honestly don't know. Um, okay. Thanks. <laughs> um, I don't know, it was all so good. Yeah. It's like so weird, like... I think like one, like, a proper, like, memorable thing for me was like, probably that's something that we've done. We was like, when we first pulled into uh, Logo Valley. Yeah. Like, just, like, the scenery and stuff, which was unreal. Yeah. But then, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't eat, I couldn't tell you. So it's, if, I feel like it's quite a diverse place, like, there's something here for everyone, because there was, like, the city was, like, Ljubljana was, like, so lovely to look around, and Lake Blared, but then there was also more like action packed things to do as well. And just like everywhere you looked was like there was like beautiful mountains, lakes, waterfalls. If you love stuff like that, honestly, this is like such a like I feel like it's a really underrated and like untouched yeah. place. I think it's probably gonna get more popular. Yeah, just... I feel I feel like uh Ljubljana could be somewhere like you'd go with your mates as well. Yeah. Like it's quite lively. Like, yeah, quite like a, a nice like bar scene and stuff like a lot of drinking outdoors but like the river and stuff yeah. so I, I do feel like, it, like anyone could go there really yeah I really loved the waterfall in Lake Blair I thought that was like that was really like wow and like it was good how you could go quite up close to it like pretty much like right under the waterfall which was quite cool um, Lake oh not Lake Blair sorry um oh, Logo Valley. Valley yes um oh, but we, then I like we did, we did kind of see waterfalls in Lake yeah Lake they were nice as well. I liked the um, the Vintka Gorge. That walk was like so much. We really enjoyed that, didn't we? Yeah. That was one of the highlights. Um, but also seeing Socha Valley today, like, oh, it was unreal. Like, I couldn't believe just how like crystal clear the water was, like just how bright turquoise they were. Um, I would have loved to have been able to do some of the like water activities. Um, but um, yeah, we definitely would come back here when it's safe again because it's there's still still so much more we'd love to do here. Um, I really think it is a good place to come if you like doing road trips because there's quite like there's like quite a lot of different kind of things to do. That is just better if you've got in a car, isn't it? Yeah. Rather than like I don't know if I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it just <laughs> <laughs> I can't put into words what I mean. But it was. It was better that we had a road, like a car for this trip, wasn't it? Yeah. Because we wanted to do quite a lot of things that weren't like that close together. Um, but saying 
that we could have literally gone like for a weekend away in Ljubljana and that would have been an amazing holiday on itself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just thoroughly enjoyed this trip. And do you know what? We had so much fun filming this, these videos as well, didn't we? Yeah. I really enjoyed um, filming. I think travel vlogs are my favourite to film. So please like it if you did enjoy it because that would mean a lot to me. And subscribe as well if you enjoyed these type of videos. And I think that's everything for Slipping. I don't even want to end the vlog. Because <laughs> I don't want our trip to end. But I don't think I ever would be ready to leave here. I could have like so long here and I'd never be ready to leave. Um, but hopefully we come back at some I think point. If you are if you are going to travel as well like during these times, definitely like do your research first. I mean we, we left it at the last minute as we can so things can change. But just like leave it as last minute as you can. Do your research and try to avoid disappointment. Yeah. But yeah, so that's everything from us. I really hope you enjoyed watching this type of video. I feel like it's a bit different to how we normally do them, but um, this is just something we really enjoy. So it was really good fun, fun filming them. So thank you so much. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> what have I done wrong now? Did I say, did I mumble or something? In your element. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. It's off the beer leg. <laughs> it's so real. Oh, she's so full. <laughs>